Hey programmers, it's Jack Wallen and I'm here to help you get things done. This time around, we're going to install the Rust programming language on Linux. The first thing to be done is the installation of curl. On a Debian or Ubuntu based distribution, do this with the command sudo apt-get install curl y. On a Red Hat based distribution, install curl with the command sudo dnf install curl y. Once curl is installed, Download and install Rust with the command curl https colon slash slash sh dot rust up dot rs dash s capital s f pipe sh. When the installer has downloaded, it will run and first ask you if you want to proceed, customize, or cancel the installation. Type 1 to proceed. During the process, Rust will fail to add the bin directory for cargo to your path. So you'll have to do it manually with the command source dollar sign capital home slash dot cargo slash env. After that, you'll need to source your user dot profile to use the modified path and ensure your user shell will function with the Rust environment. This is accomplished with the command source tilde slash dot profile. Finally, you need to install a few dependencies required by the Rust C command. For Debian Ubuntu, Install the remaining dependencies with the command sudo apt-get install build-essential-y. For CentOS and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, use the command sudo dnf install cmake gcc-y. Let's test Rust using the Hello World application. First, create a new directory to house our test with the command mkdir rust test. Change into the new directory with the command cd rust test. Create a new rust file with the command nano rust test dot rs. Paste the hello world code shown in the article below into the new file. Save and close the file. Create the rust executable with the command rust c rust test dot rs. Run the newly built application with the command dot slash rust test. You should see the output of the application printed as Hello Tech Republic. If you want to see more how to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.